I couldn't help it. All right, so I picked this guy in the bush when I went up to the lake. And um, I got it all ready. I had it in that bucket. It was doing so good. And I took it out, put it on this tray, and soaked it really good because I was planning on repotting it. And then uh, a lot of stuff happened in between all that. And I didn't quite get to it right away. So the next day, after I put it on this tray here and put it out in the sun a little bit, some uh, nippity little bunny rabbits came and gave it the old chompity chomp. As you can see, they ch they ate all the um, all the new ends off of all the new growth. And now it's in steady decline. And there's a little bit of hope. I mean, there's new uh, buds starting and stuff like that. I really got to get this potted. This poor little guy. It's actually quite a nice looking tree. Considering it was in the middle of a path. There's even uh, some blueberries in here. These are blueberry plants. And some really nice moss. I was just gonna toss it on top of some soil, but I'm not sure that'll be good enough for it now. There is a lot of new growth, but boy was I ever mad at those rabbits or that rabbit that came and ate all the shoots off of this thing. But completely my fault. I should have put it back in the bucket and put it back in my my little shop there. Live and learn, live and learn. So it's uh, the next day. <laughs> I still have not had time to do it. I was just exhausted. Um, so I've still got it in my camper. I've got the grow lights on. My ports are still in here. I'll be taking them out uh, as soon as this rain stops. You can hear it falling here. So I'll probably end up defoliating this guy. There's new buds and stuff growing. Hopefully we're going to be able to save it. My bad for not... Well, I didn't know I wouldn't have time to, to do it right away. Stuff just comes up. I put some paper towel around it to keep it more moist. You can really see that it grew out of an old fallen tree that had decayed right into the ground where I found it in the trail. And uh, the little trunk is decently thick at the bottom for such a small little guy. And you can see that at some point it got broken off because this is actually the trunk here, and this is actually a branch. So I'm guessing it must have got cut off maybe a few times. And I didn't notice that before I picked it up. Can't see because of all these blueberries and stuff. There we go. There it is. So I gotta find a good pot for it. And the roots are already pretty much flat, because it was growing right on the trail which is like just rock underneath it so maybe we can turn this into something I hope so I'm gonna go look for a pot to put it in or maybe make one I might even have to wait another day even till the rain stops yeah I'm gonna have to defoliate I think a little bit at a time. I get the babies planted. Those little, two little branches, they're planted. We'll see what happens. These look good though. Haven't shriveled or anything. I've been misting them. 
Missed them again. I'm excited for these guys. And now, I don't, I can't really go find the pot because it's pouring rain out, so I got to get ready for work tomorrow. But I want to take off these dying leaves and dead leaves. So I'm just going to do it while I'm holding the phone so I can film at the same time. Just going to leave a little bit. And, uh, Hopefully it'll help this little thing out. Can't believe the rabbit got to it that fast underneath my trailer. But it happens. Oh, that one just came off on its own. There's a little bud there. These ones I think are okay. Little bud down here, see if I can get it to clear up. Nope, doesn't want to. See if I can zoom out, maybe because the light's behind it. Hmm, I have to figure this phone out. Woo, I can zoom way out. Crazy. I gotta love technology. There, we'll try from this side. There, look at that. You can see the bud now, and you can see where the rabbit bit it off. Two spots there where the rabbit bit it off. And it did on every end. This one's got a new bud there, too. That's good. That's very good, because I really like how this little guy looks. Hopefully, like I said, we can make it into something. It really does look like it's been chopped a handful of times there. But it's persevering. Hopefully it perseveres again. And, uh, maybe after work tomorrow I'll look for a pot right away. When I back the truck into the shop there, I, I'll go look for a pot first before I run into the house. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, too. Yamadori. I love this moss. This is the one of my favorite moss. This one here. It's one of my favorite kind. Really neat looking. And there's lots of peat moss in here too. Or uh, I guess you guys are referring to it as sphagnum or they're the same thing. I don't always remember. Yeah. So I'm home from work, and on, I got off work early, actually, and I went to a couple of stores and picked up some more stuff I don't need. I mean, useful items. So I was looking for a special pot for this, and I still don't really know what I'm going to use. I still haven't uh, went and looked through all my ones I have in the shop, but I picked up this which I have to drill holes and finish the inside. I like to coat the inside of these to make them last longer. I have these ones that I picked up from the dollar store a while ago now. Again, I still have to drill holes in them and then clear coat the inside, so finish them off. But uh, maybe that will look good with it. I have gold and... Oh, the gold might actually look nice in the fall time. These guys will go yellow in fall. Yeah. So that's a possibility. And I have this bad boy that I picked up just trying to decide uh, what I was going to put a different plant on in. It wasn't even planned for this one. Uh, I don't know. That, I think it might be 
much too large. This one's already got a flat root base because uh, it was growing on rock. So I think that one's a definite no. I'll just put that aside. Um, I picked up these as grow out pots. I got new clippers a while ago. I haven't used them yet, so I brought them out here so I'd use them. My other little turntable. table. And my standard baskets. Yes, so very organized. So my standard basket might just be what it needs to grow out, but I was hoping to find something more shallow. I guess I'll just have to uh, go outside tomorrow. But I think I'm kind of liking the idea of these guys in there. Putting him in the, maybe the gold one. Might actually do that. So maybe tomorrow's project will be um, to get holes drilled in those. Which will be all of my tin ones. Get holes drilled in them and uh, clear coat the inside to protect it so it lasts longer. Yeah, it's got all new growth on it. Hopefully it comes through. Can't believe the rabbits stole the new shoots. Oh well. And these guys, and we got to put outside tomorrow. It was pouring rain all day today. Didn't want to stick them out there before work and not be here to bring them in if it got really windy or stormy or hail. We got hail in some places. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait to uncover this and see what's actually under there. I noticed that these ones don't have any holes in them, and they have some marked ones. So I'm just going to pop these holes open in here. properly. Oh, I got one more I gotta go and grab. So, I'm just gonna put three. like that and we'll clean those up after. Now I gotta be a little more careful with these ones. So I think I'll do three in these as well. Trying to be very careful, but I'm seeing it bend, so I'm gonna start with a smaller one. Get my middle ones out. I don't wanna bend these ones up. I think they'll look funny if I bend these pots up. I'll dr drill some pilot holes here. And... <laughs> they made these bait. 
this is nice and thick, which is good. mosquitoes and black flies you do not want to deal with these boogers let me tell you they are something awful now, I don't want to press down too hard because I know that they'll bend See, it made some nice holes. And that's just moving it around a little bit without pushing down. Because I don't wanna I don't wanna like dent it in or break it because then it'll look funny from the outside. Then I can find something to make some legs with, which will get exciting. Biting at my bones. Is that how that song goes? Ooh. Jeez. Can't wait to get back inside the trailer. See if I can do this without bending. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty. I didn't bend them. And I've got one more. Gotta go get it. I got this one. This one here. All right. Try with the big bit and see if I can get through it. It's thinner than that stuff. Is that a piece of wood somewhere? Probably not. in it. There. Much thinner than the other stuff. Than the other ones. Alright. Now the other thing I want to do is these are some of my, these are some of my figs, so, my little figs, these are the ones that were stuck in the greenhouse, they seem to be doing okay, my ones that are still inside the house are, are big, 
like I've got the grouping in the middle it goes from like smallest to biggest and I've got this nice big one but they don't have like um fig shaped leaves which I find quite odd but I want to have these guys outside in the sun so um, I need to drill holes in these pots and uh, these ones I'm going to be using them as training pots I don't need feet on them so I don't need them to be pretty either I'm going to drill holes in the sides but normally with stuff like this I burn the holes in but we'll see how this drills. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, I'll uh, bring the wood burner out. And we'll, we'll burn some holes in there. Oh, I'll need a smaller bit. This one's just not made for that. It's got a little nub on it to help pilot the bit in but this one here I think smaller holes will be fine anyway all right try this again have to bring the wood burning kit out and burn the holes that'll be much easier and I have some other cups to do and stuff anyway so we'll get that done next get these guys draining so they actually can get some sunlight and I'll bring my other ones out to show you guys as well because I forgot to grab them I was gonna grab them and bring them out yeah and then for these I've got uh, clear coat acrylic. I'll probably finish this can of it here. I've got some matte finish for my little dinos and I've got this uh, gloss finish. Doesn't matter on the inside. And then I want to spray all uh, these pots and any metal pots I have. We'll get them sprayed on the inside and uh, probably spray the bottoms after we clean that up. I'll go get the file and then uh, hopefully that'll make them last longer. That's a start. I've got some tomatoes growing and I put the holes in the pots here. Just little ones, four, just enough to drain them. My challenge forest, this is the back of it. The forest that got squashed by the greenhouse, which I'm actually going to um, add to a different forest my pomegranate that dampened off actually doing super well my bougainvillea also squashed by the greenhouse it's doing much better now i'm probably going to chop this entire branch right off so i can get that as a new leader going i'll have to repot it i think and fix her up my big pomegranate that got squashed. It's leafed out really nicely now. I'm going to have to cut it back and see if I can get it stood back up again. 
all my millions of pomegranates I still have left that I was unable to rehome. My unknown trees or plants or whatever they are. Only the one came out of dormancy. I don't know what they are. I guess we'll find out. My little spruce that flushed out even though the ground was completely frozen in its little cup. So I wasn't able to repot it this year. It flushed out. Uh, the flush that you see all this new growth is actually flush number three for this year. And I was told to to leave it. I was really hoping to get it into a real pot so it would be easier to take care of. And I really want to trim some of this growth out before it gets too thick. I, I might still do that, even though I was told to leave it, but there's a lot of stuff that is all jumbled up and should be taken care of now. Yeah, it's doing super good though, like super good. I'm so happy with it. I'm glad it lived. I got my medicine onions. They're um, sea onions, I guess they're called. I got lots of these. Also trying to rehome them. They're not bonsai or anything. They're just a plant I've had around since I was a little kid. And uh, they're fascinating because they get pregnant. This one's here is pregnant here. But once they get pregnant, they birth these little babies. So there's all these little babies everywhere, and all those little babies regrow. They definitely like being outside. Now they can take the cold, but not a direct frost. <clears throat> and my Benjamina, my Ficus Benjamina, I found out from the greenhouse crash it's actually got a, a very broken branch but the branch is still alive so I'm gonna have to figure something out this tree is probably gonna get a very large restyling and as per normal it uh, went dormant it just does not like being outside even its cuttings here now my ones over there those are trees from the same pot when I bought it but they were inside my shop over there and not in direct light and they've also stopped growing so I'll probably have to bring them into the house again. My new bougainvillea still hasn't stopped flowering and it's loving the direct sunlight hence the dark flowers. My uh, chaflera has come back. It's loving being out here I have to figure out what I'm doing wrong inside the house with it to try and get it going again because yeah I really like the chaflaras hmm not sure what I'll do and my um, hibiscus that I did a big trim on which I didn't post a video for that because of the $50 challenge interruption, <laughs> which I greatly enjoyed. So this is uh, all new growth on here and it's uh, it's decently thick. I'm just gonna break off this little shoot here that's starting. I don't want any on the trunk. So that's all beautiful new growth. My, um, my new hibiscus, hopefully it gets some of these leaves back. All the New growth seems to be normal leaves, so I'm not sure why it had these leaves to begin with. Well, it's sort of coming back. We'll see if these newest ones come back that way. I bought it just for the, the unusual leaves, so I have to repot that one. That'll be coming up soon. My other hibiscus there with the fancy f pink flowers looks like it's going to but again, I had to cut the buds off because it had aphids pretty bad. And I brought my uh, my olives outside. 
and they're just starting to get little buds on them. I never trimmed this one, but I did this one because it was so top heavy and it's back budding like crazy. Hopefully they thicken up a little bit. They're actually, even though they're very thin, they're actually double the thickness of when I got them. They were true twigs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everything I started, I start from itty bitty. <laughs> so I've got stuff to repot in the trailer, which I'll probably be doing tonight. And I have a ton of cuttings in the shed here. And some of them aren't doing well because I have not had time to get to them, so 100% my fault. I'm a bit of a, a bonsai blight when it comes to uh, getting stuff done, I guess. I was hoping that these would root, and they were doing really well until I brought them outside. So... We'll keep trying. And more ficus benjaminas. Oh, I've got cuttings from, I kept from the ivies. I've got this that grew. It's one of those, um, those red willows. I've got hibiscus cuttings here. And I thought there was some olive cuttings in there too, but they probably have not survived my neglect. And uh, geraniums and etc. etc. I've also got baby sea onions or medicine onions all over the place. They just never stop. A whole bunch of people wanted some, so I grew a whole bunch of babies and... Then I said, well, I have a whole bunch of babies. Come and get them. And nobody came to get them. So I've still got lots. I've got more citronella up there. I put all of the cuttings into one basket because I ran out of people to give them to. So I won't be keeping any cuttings from that either. But I noticed there's even more bonsai people um, in Thunder Bay now. I noticed that on uh, the Facebook groups that there's some new people from Thunder Bay that are joining. It's very exciting, so maybe someday we'll meet up with them, maybe maybe do a nursery crawl or something like that, like everybody does in uh, southern Ontario. <laughs> that would be kind of fun to get together with some of them. I know of at least, I'm pretty sure, four now bonsai people including me so that's pretty good for a small area like this well it's a huge area but the population is so spread out very exciting I can't wait anyways I'm gonna get ready to get going in the trailer all right it is about 8 o'clock at night. Finally, I'm able to start working on this little baby. The new shoots are coming out pretty nice. Hopefully I can get into a pot. We'll see what pot I decide on. And uh, I'll probably try and save the blueberries and some of these other guys and the moss. And maybe just uh, plant them around my fish pond. Yeah. It's uh, collected from a trail. I'm sure I said that in another video. I think I even put up pictures, and I can't wait to see what's under here. It looks like it's been chopped down maybe 
two, maybe three times and broken and chewed on, so it's definitely going to be interesting. Hmm. wonder if I can blueberry, uh, bonsai a blueberry plant. I wonder how that would look. Have a little cascading one, maybe wire it down. No. Not today. All right, let's get going on this. Let's see, make sure you guys can see it. I'll probably bring you in a little bit here. Like that. So we can see what there is to see. And you can see that it grew out of some rotting wood, which is pretty cool. And whenever you find these little trees and um, maples, and there's a few other ones too, they always end up growing out of a, a rotting tree. It's pretty neat. Alright. First, yes, I'm going to just take some of this stuff off. There's like peat moss and there's that other little moss that I really like. I'd like to put this in some other plantings. Lots of roots in here though. Oh, I need another container. See, I'm never fully prepared. Use my seed tray. Correct. So, if I come around this side so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. And you can right on. Look at that, the trillium. All sorts of stuff in here. I'm just going to pull this layer off. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I'm not sure who owns these roots. Looks like some of the blueberries do. Look at all this wood. That moss likes that old rotting wood there. And so do the mosquitoes. Jeez, they found me already. Some wild mint in here, all sorts of stuff. Forest floor type stuff. You can sort of start seeing the actual trunk for this thing. You can see that this is a branch that's trying to become a leader. Lichen it grows everywhere here. Focus there. Pretty cool. All right, let's see if we can separate some of these plants. And this thing, it's already pretty flat because. It was actually um, growing right on some um, piece of the Canadian shield there, big flat rock. Hmm. Yeah, 
interesting. Very interesting. Did you even see that? <laughs> you gotta go to keep looking. Get used to that new phone and all its weird settings. Pretty cool. And this thing doesn't have much root on it at all. Look at this. It's just about out of this big clump here. Rotting stick. Look at that. Here I thought that the clump had more roots. Look at it. That's all the root it has. That's it. The whole root. I think we can, uh, I think we can change that, eh? And you can see where it's been cut off. And even the, um, branch has a, a root coming off of it here. Let's see if I can figure out what I can do with that. You can see where it's been uh, broken, bitten. Cut, stepped on. All sorts of nifty things. So I'm not sure how I'll proceed with this one. Hmm. I'm gonna have to cut that top root. Guess I'll start with that. So, this big pile, I can just go and plant right at the pond. Look at this blueberry. That's amazing. The trunk is almost as thick as this ash. Crazy. All right. Put this in here. Move this out of the way. And this tap root needs to be cut back. Right where that weird bend starts. Let's see what we can get out of there. Oh, I need to sharpen these. Oh, I got a new pair. Look at that. Big old root. So that's probably all I'm going to... I'm going to save this one root, even though it's in an odd spot. I'm going to try and save it anyways, just because it's all it has right now. And then, uh, in a future root pruning, I'll probably let that one go. Now... What should we do with the tree itself? Let me re-angle you guys a little bit here. There we go, sort of. There. Oh, still kind of hard to see against the background, but... It's a pretty straight trunk still, but we're going to leave it all for now. We already cut off a bunch of leaves. And we can decide on a front anytime we want. I think I'm going to put it in a round pot so that I 
can only look at it any which way. I'm going to use one of these ones that I uh, that I sprayed the inside there. They're all dry and ready to go. I just don't have feet yet for them. I'll uh, I'll make something up later. It's just a matter of what one. Yeah, I think I might go with this copper one. I think the copper goes with the trunk a little bit more. And that's what I'll do. All right. <coughs> so. I've been seeing this stuff come up in stores now. It's cactus, palm, and succulent mix, so I decided to pick up a few bags. I can't find it in any bigger bags than this yet. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try this stuff. See how that goes. Or see how that grows. Ah! Where's my paper towel? Oh. I'll just use this used stuff. This will be good enough. It even has a little rippy line. Let's see if the rippy line actually works. Look at that. Wow. Fancy. Yep. Looks and smells like soil. Look at that. Jeez. I'm gonna have to get a pick. So many different ways. Now, should I bury it deep or should I leave it higher? I think I'll bury it down a bit here. Just to get some root growth. And just give this one a little snippity snip. I don't know, this stuff doesn't really feel too much different than the Walmart stuff. We'll see how it does. See little pieces of bark in it here and there. One little bit 
lots of perlite in it here and there. And it looks like uh, maybe coconut mulch, some sort of stuff in there. And a stick. pile it up a little bit here lightly just so we can get some root growth that look oh, let me zoom you out a little bit there and I can see the whole thing something of it. Just being able to save it from its own doom in the trail. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I'll go plant all that stuff by the pond. Actually, I might um, put some of that moss back in. I think it would look nice. Ooh, I keep forgetting the cameras on that side. Sort of centered. Oops. Eventually, I'll get used to these settings. Yeah. I really like this moss. This moss here. It's like one of my favorite kinds of moss if it focuses. There you go. Love that moss. I'm going to put some back in here. Just let it grow in on its own. Let's see what it does. Oh my goodness, you can feel it already. As soon as the sun starts going down, that's it. We're doomed. Doomed! I'll have to retreat back to my camper. I just figured we'd get the mess done out here. So I don't have the mess inside the camper. Oh my goodness. There. Pretty. A bitty bit. There. 
that should grow in nice. So now we gotta go water it. So give you guys one last spin. You see all the nice little moss in there. Hopefully it grows out. Good. Yeah. Oops. Pretty. And there are lots of nice new buds. Farming there after the rabbits ate them. My dirty fingers. So hopefully it comes back for us. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Be safe out there.